So, wanted to tell you something. I officially have a second boyfriend. What about all his red flags? He's not so bad. I, I think he's just kind of dumb. And I think we could help him. We? Well, I was wondering if you would meet him. I feel like you could be a really good influence on him. Influence? What is he, a child? Well, he just doesn't know things yet. Like what? Um, like that women and men are equal. Oh, okay. All, all boys have to learn that at some point, right? I mean, I guess you're right. I did have to learn to listen to you. For some reason, your voice, or maybe it was the way you were talking, just like wouldn't register with my brain until I like actively turned it on and realized you were a genius. I don't think it was the sound of my voice. I think it was the patriarchy because my voice isn't even that high. Right. So he also is in the patriarchy and needs to be saved. But is it your job to save him? Well, someone has to, and I would like to reap the benefits. I think you just don't know what else is out there because you've basically been with me your whole life. I've been with men other than you, Daniel, and they're all hopeless. So why shouldn't I choose him over them? So you think I could teach him to listen to women? If it comes from a man. But if you can't communicate with him now, don't you think that's like a sign of things to come? Should people never ask for help? But you know, it took me years to listen to you. I can't believe you stayed with me. We have everything, you know? The chemistry, we believe in the same things, we like to do the same things. How do you get a man to listen? If we can't do it, no one can. Daniel, he's here. Did you clean the bathroom? He's probably gonna use your bathroom. Yes. Did you take out the trash? Yes. What are we gonna do? Are we just gonna talk? I don't know. We'll play Mario Party if we get bored. Hi. Hey, Daniel. Hey. Oh, I wasn't sure if you uh, were a wine drinker, but I got you my favorite. Oh, wow, thank you. And Dana? I got you a cookie. Oh, man, I feel like a jerk because I didn't get you anything. Oh, dude, you're hosting. Well, that's true. I did fluff the pillows. He's kidding. We always keep them fluffed. Well, come on in. You want uh, water or something? Uh, sure, unless you want to crack open the Malbec. Uh... I mean, we're just relaxing tonight. All right, but these pants are staying on. Oh, don't worry. Uh, this isn't one of Dana's dreams. Maybe after this one bottle, it will be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go crack this open. So, how was the first filming of the, the podcast? Uh, it was great. It was great. Dana's a natural. She is. She's a good conversationalist. Yeah. Can't wait for you to see it. You thinking about going all the way? What do you mean? Like, do you want to do this for a living? Uh, I mean, that would be incredible. Sort of like the Joe Rogan rap? Uh, I mean, he is a podcaster, but we're trying to do like our own thing. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to be huge to be successful. I mean, we think it's gonna be pretty massive. Oh, it, yeah, if you get the right people on your team, you can really expedite the process. Oh, yeah, you're a, uh, you're, you like work in an agency, right? Yes, I do. I uh, have a lot of contacts, uh, even before this job. I try to maintain strong connections with people. That's smart. It's the only way to make it in this industry. I mean, I'd like to think that, you know, having like a good opinion and a good way to say it, you know, counts for something. I mean, anybody can ask questions, right? Well, you could ask the wrong questions. True, but if you do your research, then you'll figure out the important ones. Well, I mean, you gotta be good at like making somebody comfortable, you know? Dana's very good at that. And you know, I think like the, the good questions come from like deeper opinions. I love asking deep questions of people. It, you just learn so much about them so much faster. Oh yeah, you got a deep question for me? I mean, I'm sure I do. But, but, no, nah, I, I don't want to make the situation awkward. I mean, I love deep questions. Go for it. Uh, okay. Well, what do you think you would find in another woman 
that Dana doesn't give you. Wow. You are good at this. That was quick. Oh, thank you. I do think I've developed the skills over the years. Ah, so you're saying it does take skills. Yes, and I don't even have a podcast. But you didn't get me to answer the question. That is true. Okay. It does take someone some level of skill if their walls are up. See? You know, polyamory doesn't mean I need something from another woman. If Dana was the only woman I was, like, allowed to be with, I would die happy. So you don't want to date anyone else? Uh, I mean, ironically, that's kind of one of the amazing things about Dana, is that she allows me the opportunity to date somebody else. She's kind of the perfect woman. Cheers to that. Cheers to me! Cheers to our girlfriend. <laughs> oh! You know, Daniel, he got you to answer the question. Good times, man. Yeah, man, good times. Bye. Wow, good wow, wow, bad wow. I see... The attraction. I see how you're stuck in a toxic relationship. He's kind of hot, right? It's impressive how he's able to... twist the conversation. I know. When I'm... when I'm with him... You feel good. But now... You feel bad.